Hey, what's up? It's Philip, and welcome back to another video. Let me show you how to create these awesome volumetric clouds, and uh, they are under the public domain license, so you can use them in any of your uh, commercial projects, games, and so on. So let's start. First step is to go to this website, uh, jungafx.com, and over here you can see these VDB volumes. I will give the link in the description, and if you scroll down, you can see this cloud pack. You can also download different uh, effects if you want to. They are all uh, public domain, so don't worry, you can use them for your games or any other commercial projects. So just click download over here this cloud uh, pack. We can extract it to the folder. And if we go inside, you can see the license and it says the Creative Commons Public Domain CC0, so we can use it uh, as we want. And if you go inside the cloud pack, inside this cloud pack VDB, you can see different uh, variants of your clouds. And over here we will drag, for example, these three clouds and just drag and drop them here. Click import, import and import and they will be over here. But the problem is that we can't just drag and drop our clouds over here. We need to uh, create a heterogenic uh, volume. So to do that, uh, go under here and type in hetero and uh, drag and drop this heterogeneous volume. We can position location to be zero, zero and zero. The next step that we want to uh, search for a sparse volume material. It's under the engine content over here. If you don't see this engine content, just go over here under the settings and make sure that this show engine content is selected. And now we can easily type in sparse, hit enter, and we can find this sparse volume material over here. We will want to right click and create material instance, my cloud. We can see this because we have this filter on, so we can just type in my cloud. And we want to go scroll up and uh, just drag and drop our instance that we created to our content folder and click move here. Okay, you can close this, go to content and we can see this my cloud over here. Now open my cloud material instance, open this global texture parameter values, uh, enable sparse volume texture and we will now add this cloud variant 000 for example and just drag and drop it here. Make sure to save. And now, while select your heterogeneous volume, you can see material solar here. Maybe we will add our material here. And just like that, we have a nice, awesome looking cloud. Make sure to save your level so you don't uh, lose your progress. And what we can do now, we can double click on this material instance and drag it here so we can see it better. You can go to albedo and you can change the albedo color over here and albedo scale. For example, if you want to change the color, you can go over here and change the cloud color. And uh, over here under the scale, we can change the scale of our color so we can have these nice white clouds or you can go more with the black. So let's go with the white clouds. And another interesting option here is density scale we can change the density of our cloud like this. And now we have our cloud. Uh, let's uh, put it in the context. For that, I will go over here and uh, add this uh, landscape auto material to the project. This one, click add to project. And if I go over here, you can see my landscape auto material. So we can just go here under the maps, use this mountain range, for example. And what we are going to do, we are going to disable these volumetric clouds and add our cloud just over here. Volume and add element here. If I hit F, we can see our cloud here and make it uh, really big and put it on our mountain range. Uh, we can also reduce the density a little bit. And we can add uh, another cloud. It's very easy, just uh, duplicate this volume. For example, like this. Duplicate this uh, instance. Uh, 
and under volume 2 we will drag and drop this and if we open it up we can change the over here another cloud let's drag and drop it and it will add another cloud to our level if we open it up we can make this a little bit denser and add some variations to our clouds of course you can go control l to position the sun as you can see we have these nice clouds in our level and this is it if you find this uh, helpful let me know in the comments below drop some likes and uh, subscribe for more uh, tutorials like this thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye